Welcome back to her channel. Welcome back, guys. I am barefaced today because I am going to be doing my makeup. I haven't done my makeup like in like just a makeup video in a long time. It's always chit chat, get ready with me or be with a tea. Mother is fresh faced, looking youthful and ready to go. So I am going to do the makeup look that you guys were obsessing over the first makeup look from the Mistress series. And that's the one with the pink outfit. If you guys want the green look too, I can't do it, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the same look, the only difference is I just, I used green obviously, and then I added the graphic liner above. So the look is the exact same, wing liner, color in the crease, and then the green look added the liner, but I didn't do that with the pink look. The pink look was very, very simple. And the reason I won't do it is because my green liner is drying out, so I struggled to actually get that look done when I was doing it. So on Discord, um, yes, we have a Discord for the members, which is on, girl, let me check what tier that's on. I never know which tier is my highest tier. I'm always struggling with that. If you're on the bougiest ever membership, you have a ticket invite to the Discord. Automatic invite to the Discord. And the Discord is a really good time. We're in there building friendships and having a good key. And like, it's a sisterhood. It's really, really nice in the Discord. And so we love it in there, of course. But if you're on that tier, you can join the Discord. Now, the reason I'm bringing it up is because usually when we're in our Discord, we play games at nighttime to wind down the evening. We've been playing a lot of Would You Rather in there and Two Truths, One Lie, games like that, drinking games, and you can drink if you want, but I haven't been. <laughs> so um, it's a really cool vibe. So while I'm doing my makeup today, I figured I would just do some would you rather questions. Girls in the Discord inspired me. So I'm gonna do some would you rather questions while I am beating this mug. So obviously I just used my Fenty primer and now I'm going in with my Makeup Forever orange or caramel, whatever you wanna call it, corrector. And then I'm going to add my Fenty orange corrector as well. This one is called Pumpkin and with this one, a little goes a long way, okay? So you don't need a lot. It gets the job done, that's for sure. And I'm just putting it on my dark spots. So I pulled up a would you rather for black girls, because I'm obviously a black girl. Would you rather never be allowed to sleep with your bonnet or a headscarf on ever again, or never be allowed to use coconut oil again? I'm not sure. <laughs> The reason I'm not sure is because I'm Jamaican, girl. We be cooking with coconut oil. I use coconut oil more in food than I do on my body. I don't be liking anything on my head anyway, but like if my hair is fresh, I do put a bonnet on, or if it, like I have on like faux locks, I have to wear a bonnet. I probably would never get faux locks again, so I I'm gonna have to say, I'm gonna have to say the bonnet. I would rather not be able to use my bonnet because coconut oil goes so far and like you can do so much with it. Maybe I put a plastic bag on my head, I don't know. <laughs> oh, girl, this next one is a mess. <laughs> would you rather wear a foundation that is not your skin tone or have your leave out not match your weave? I'm gonna have to go with foundation, girl. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with foundation because if the foundation's too dark, I could um, use some concealer and try to even it out. If the foundation is too light, I could use some contour and you know, just go for a super bright highlight. I'm not gonna be out here with a leave out that don't match my weave. That's crazy. Like, why would you ever do that? For foundation, I will be using my Chai foundation. The next question is, would you rather hair that's thin and unhealthy or do the big chop and have your hair never grow? Who made this? These questions should be illegal. Well, I could always wear a wig girl. So I'm gonna have to say big chop and my hair never grow, especially because I was bald. So I, I, it's not a big deal to have no hair. It's really not. And <laughs> speaking of foundation not matching, um, it is winter time. So Mava is a little paler than she would like to be. She needs a vacation. 
So um, my foundation is a little darker anyway. So I guess that last would you rather question was for me. But I think it looks way darker on camera because look at my hand. Like, I don't know, my face is just really, really light right now. Would you rather always have your name mixed up with the other black girl in the office? Oh baby, somebody would have to fight me for that one. <laughs> somebody would have to fight me for that one. Or to have to let people touch your natural hair every time they ask. Definitely my name mixed up and I, it would probably lead to me quitting, but you're not gonna touch my hair. Don't touch my hair. Unless you wanna meet Solange inside the elevator. Don't touch my hair. This mirror is very dirty and I need to clean it. Yeah, most people chose foundation, most people chose bonnet, big chop. Ooh, yeah, most people chose big chop. Uh, would you rather always have cha chapped lips with no lip balm? Mm -mm, I need my lipsticks, girl. Or always have dry hands with no cream? Dry hands with no cream, baby. I'll find a way. I'll go get the coconut oil out that I said that I would not eliminate. And that will have to be my lotion. Maybe I'll go get some fried chicken if I have to, but I'm not about to be walking around with with fried lips, okay? Like it's just not, it's, it's just not a thing because I can hide my hands, but if I'm talking to you, the first thing you're gonna notice is that my lips are ashy. No, unacceptable. Unacceptable! For concealer, I'm using my MAC um, Pro Longwear Concealer in NC45. And then for the mi name mix up in the office, people, most people chose that as well. The next question is, would you rather people asking how your hair grew so fast every time you have a weave or braids? Isn't that our norm anyway? <laughs> Or have people asking where you're really from every day? Oh, I, this is definitely an American made this because when we ask, like in Canada, when we ask people where they're from, we automatically assume that they're asking like what our background is. So it's not offensive to us. So like if somebody asks me where you're from and I'm like, oh, Toronto. And they're like, no, like where are you actually from? I'm not gonna get offended because I'm from Jamaica. <laughs> But um, in America, it's not really like that. So I have to assume that an American person wrote this BuzzFeed thingy. So um, I'm gonna say, where are you really from? Because that's not a question that phases me as a Canadian girl. 56% of people, so the majority, actually preferred to um, people asking how their hair grew so fast. Wow, that's crazy. The next question is would you rather never experience shrinking? I actually don't get a lot of shrinking, so. Or always have your edges laid no matter what. I would say edges, cause I find laying my edges a little tedious, I'm not gonna lie. So if that includes wig installation, <laughs> then definitely I prefer to always have my edges laid. And 52% of black girls chose that answer. Have to use blue magic every day for the rest of your life? Or use pink oil every day for the rest of your life? Oh my God, what year is it? I would say blue magic just because I have a, a very dry scalp anyway, I should probably be using some damn blue magic. I feel like you can use blue magic more sparingly than the pink lotion. Girl, most people chose pink lotion. What did, what do y'all know that I don't know? Would you rather deal with two tight braids for a month or deal with relax or burn for pain for five hours? Oh. I think I would rather have braids that were too tight for a month because relax or burn is not fun. Neither is too tight braids though. Like <laughs> braids that are too tight is not something that I would be looking forward to. I don't think that's something anybody would look forward to. So it's hard to really choose, but I think I would go for braids that were too tight, which 53% of black women agree. <laughs> like relax or burn for, for three minutes is crazy. For five hours, that's like, that's not even doable. So I don't know why 47 people are over here lying. 47%, <laughs> sorry. Would you rather have a braid drop out in public? <laughs> or have a track showing for the whole day. 
I've probably already experienced having a track showing for the whole day. I'm gonna say braid drop out in public because chances are I'm probably not gonna be seen in that place ever again. 83% of people said they rather um, have a braid drop out in public, which was my answer as well, cause why not? Is there only 10 questions for us black girls? They couldn't come up with some more? Okay, I found another list that we can go over. So now I'm taking my matchsticks and espresso. I'm gonna warm it up in the back of my hand first. And then I'm going to This next set of questions is, would you rather live in a country with a low cost of living but horrible weather, or live in a country with high cost of living and amazing weather? Well, I, how about this? How about I live in Canada, so I live in a country with extremely high cost of living and horrible weather. So i rather live in a country with high cost of living and amazing weather. Because the weather in Canada is absolutely bollocks, okay? It's horrible. It's, 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 it's ridiculous. Matter of fact, we had a storm just last night. We just had a storm last night and it's costing me a fortune to live in Canada. I don't like it, girl. So i rather live somewhere expensive with lovely, lovely weather, tropical weather. I feel like that's the only right answer. Like, why would you choose anything else? And then it asks, would you rather have a face that everyone laughs at or a name that everyone laughs at? D definitely not a face, girl. <laughs> definitely not a face, because I can t change my name, girl. I can't change my face, okay? I can change my name to anything that I want it to be. I can just go by a nickname. But once your face is laughable, what are you supposed to do with that? Like, how, how, do you, how does one help that you can't? So I'm going to go with laughable name for 500, Alex. Mm-hmm. And then, would you rather be smart but a total jerk or really sweet but really dumb? Um, I would say really sweet but really dumb. <laughs> Only because, like, who wants to be a jerk? Like, no, I'd rather be stupid. <laughs> um, I'd rather be an idiot than be labeled and classified as a jerk. Jerks ain't making it into heaven, girl. I need to make it into heaven. So we're not going to go for the jerk. Only thing jerk about me is the chicken, girl, okay? Um, would you rather go through your whole life being the most hilarious person or being the most intelligent person? Baby, being funny gets you paid. <laughs> um, i rather be... Well, it doesn't say just because you're funny, you're dumb. So I'd rather be the most hilarious person. I love a good key, I love a good laugh, and I like to make people laugh, so um, I would definitely say most hilarious. And I mean, it didn't say either that if you're, you're the most intelligent, you're not funny, but I feel like if you're like super smart, um, your sense of humor may not be like top tier, which I could be wrong, but Whatever, I'd rather be funny. I'd rather be funny, darling. Would you rather be trapped in the matrix <laughs> or the lot R universe? Well, since I don't know what lot R is, I'm gonna have to go with matrix. It's gonna be me, Neo, and Trinity girl. Would you rather the highest temperature ever be 100 degrees Fahrenheit or the lowest temperature be 100 degrees Fahrenheit? Um, what 100 degrees Fahrenheit is because I'm Canadian. So let me Google that and I'll let you know. Okay, that's 37 degrees. So that's pretty hot. So I would say I would rather the highest temperature ever be 100 degrees Fahrenheit since that's 40, almost 40 degrees. That's too damn hot, girl. No, like when it's like 30, I can't even make it outside. Like, no, so. We'll go with um, highest temperature ever. Would you rather give up social media or eat the same dinner for the rest of your life? Well, I get paid for social media, so I would. I guess I gotta eat the same dinner for the rest of my life. I'll just make it a mukbang. <laughs> I'll make it a mukbang channel, girl, cause what if we get to exclude 
say YouTube out of the social media topic, then I would probably say give up social media because I can live without all the other uh, social media accounts or apps. Twitter, Twitter would be hard to give up. I love me some Twitter, girl. But like, I can survive without most social medias, but because I get paid for YouTube, I don't think I can answer that as giving it up. Would you rather meet a famous person who is boring or a regular person who is hilarious? Regular person who is hilarious. What the hell do I look like meeting a damn boring celeb? Like, what is that gonna do for me? <laughs> like what? I'd rather make a friend, a funny friend, than meet a celebrity. Like, I don't know. I think people's like relationship or not relationship, I feel like people's obsession with famous people is strange. They're j to me, famous people are just people. So like, I don't have the desire to like meet famous people, boring or not boring. I, I really don't care. Cause what I'm gonna do after I meet them? Like what, what we're just gonna be sitting there blinking at each other. Like, I don't understand. They don't really hold any like importance, except for like maybe Rihanna. <laughs> but like, I'm not gonna die if I never meet her, you know? She's just a regular people. Oh, and just now to contour my nose, I used uh, my matchsticks and truffle. And now I'm going to use my um, Fenty Beauty Liquid Kilowatt and Hustle Baby 2.0. Would you rather attend a concert of your favorite band or attend a Broadway show? Oh, that's actually really hard. Cause I like both. I love a good theater moment, but I also love a good concert. I feel like I wouldn't really care, either or. Wh whoever presents me with the tickets, girl, I'ma go. <laughs> um, I love concerts, but I also love plays, so it depends. I, I can't answer this one, I'm sorry. Musicians tend to tour forever, so unless it's like the the, the artist's last and final show ever, then I probably will go to Broadway. Now I'm going to use my um, cream blush in Daiquiri Dip. And then the last one asks, um, would you rather meet your favorite author or your favorite artist? Um, well, my favorite artist is dead, so. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna have to go with well, I'll still go with meet my favorite artist, but I'll just choose a live one. <laughs> Rihanna, okay? I'll just choose a live one because I'm obviously not gonna be going to see Miss Amy Winehouse. <laughs> Would you rather date your best friend or someone you don't know? Well, I don't have a male best friend, so I'm gonna have to say someone I don't know. My mama always told me to marry my best friend, when I was a kid and, um, <laughs> well, <laughs> do you follow me on YouTube? Would you rather be trapped in a romantic comedy with your enemies or trapped in a horror movie with your friends? Horror movie with my friends, that would be so epic, iconic. It would be actually probably one of the best horror movies you'll ever see in your entire life because it would for sure be end up being funny, okay? A bunch of black people just, what? No, that would be the best ever, okay? Better than Get Out, better than any other horror movie that exists, I'm sorry. You know what I always say, I don't make the rules. So now, they asking, would you rather have a partner who is beautiful and has a horrible personality, or a partner who is plain and has the most compatible personality? What? <laughs> Why would anybody choose beautiful with a horrible personality? That's like, that's probably the worst combo ever. I would definitely say plain with uh, um, the most compatible personality. But like, what a strange question, girl. And to the people that would answer that and say beautiful with a horrible personality, Seek help. Okay, seek help, because why would that ever be your answer? Would you rather have a child who is, hold on. Would you rather have a child that is the smartest kid in the world or a child who is the most popular kid in the world? 
Uh, I would rather have a smart child. What kind of question is this? <laughs> Definitely rather have a smart child. Popularity ain't always good and glamour, okay? Would you rather go through life unable to forget anything or go through life unable to remember anything? Well, I already live a life of unable to remember anything and at the same time, also struggle to forget certain things that I don't necessarily want to remember. So I'm gonna say i rather go through life not able to forget anything. Cause even in traumatic situations, your body's gonna remember anyway. So even if you block it out. Would you rather date someone who's always punctual or date someone who remembers everything. I like punctuality, so I'm gonna say date someone who's punctual. That's attractive, okay? Don't be late on me, baby. By the way, I just used my Fenty Beauty Powder in Honey. So now I am using my Fenty Beauty Powder in Coconut. And I'm just adding a little bit. And also my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep. And now I must dust away. Then for a highlighter, I'm going to use my Diamond Balm in how many carrots? Okay. And then for blush, and we're gonna get back into the would you rather in a minute. For blush, I am going to use my Makeup Forever in B216. This is like my favorite blush of all time. And you will be needing that blush as well for the eye look. I always put a little bit on my nose. Pink, 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 pink. Okay, would you rather have a life-changing adventure or be able to stop time? Oh baby, stop time. Oh, but you know what, if I, if I was able to stop time, it might be problematic. <laughs> would you rather travel a lot or meet a lot of people? I'd rather travel a lot. Oh, my tummy. Because if you travel a lot, you're likely gonna meet a lot of people anyway. So like, you know, bust down, bust down, bust down, bust down. I'm drowning. Before I finish the makeup, let me just zoom in real quick. Cause I want you guys to see my little guitar earrings. Oh, so cute. Don't ask me where this wig is from, girl. Cause I don't, I don't be knowing. It's an old wig, girl. It's an old wig. Um, let's finish this makeup look, shall we? To complete the look, we need a few things. We're gonna need some wing liner. So we're gonna go with my Quo wing liner, but this is the last Quo liner on the face of the earth. They don't make this no more. So I'm keeping the bottle, but I also have NYX here that I just bought yesterday and I used it yesterday. So the look with the green, I use this and this, but it's this brush that I really want. So I take this and dip it in all kinds of uh, liners. I got one from Marshalls the other day, obsessed with it. So that's what I'd be doing um, because I can't get that bottle anywhere. Get our wing liner on. And um, keep playing would, would You Rather. So would you rather um, watch a marathon of your favorite TV show or read a book all day? Girl, marathon me down, please. <laughs> marathon me down. But if it's a really good book, you know, I'm all for that too. But definitely a TV marathon. Would you rather have to wear a tuxedo shirt every day for a month or have to wear a tutu every day for a month? Um, I love a good tutu. <laughs> uh, I mean, I feel like I could pull a tutu off I can make it high fashion, so I'm gonna go with two two. Would you rather always hit a red light for the rest of your life or always slow down? Oh, or always get slow internet after the sun goes down. I mean, a red, <laughs> slow internet is not it. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna take the red light only because I genuinely feel like if I'm at a red light, 
It's for a reason. It's keeping me safe and out of harm's way. So I don't mind the red lights. I know they're a little annoying. And who wants to be at one every time you're punching the gas? But I'd rather that than slow internet. I'm not gonna hold you. And if I did choose slow internet, I would just have to get everything done before the sun goes down, baby. Now in the summertime, obviously I would have longer uh, usage, but I live in Canada. By five o'clock, sun gone, okay? I can't believe they discontinued that damn liner. They need to bring it back. But I did, I did the damn thing on this liner. Ooh, it looks good. So the NYX liner that I'm using is Epic Wear. Uh, it's waterproof. I was wondering why the hell I was struggling to take it off last night. I didn't read that it was waterproof, but I was struggling to take this off last night. I didn't realize it was waterproof, so it definitely needs oil. Now, to complete the eye look, you wanna make sure that your, obviously your liner is dry. It's a light show, I'm surrounded. Water in the fountain. Bust down, bust down, bust down, bust down. I'm drowning. So now I'm gonna take my, um, shit, my blush. And I don't have any thing on my eyelids, like any um, primer of the, or anything like that. We're just giving a wash of color, girl. And from the outside of the wing and into the crease, look at that. You just wanna give it a little, you know, and you could flick it out at the end. But you just follow the shape of the crease. And that's it. Like, the look was so simple. I, when you guys started asking me to tour, I'm like, guys, <laughs> you don't need a tutorial for this look. Oh, but there is. I forgot. I did have an inner corner, like, highlight thing. So I will grab that in a second. These little boys came to my house and rang my doorbell. And they were like, can we do your driveway for you? I'm like, where have y'all been the whole damn winter? Where have, where have y'all been? So they're out there now, if you can hear the their snowblower. I said, these kids is new age. Back in the day, baby, you had a shovel and nothing more. So they out there shoveling my, not shoveling, they snow blowing my driveway with their gas, their daddy's gas snowblower for 40 bucks. I say, yes, God. But they don't know that I'm going to give them 80. <laughs> Double baby, okay? Because they blessed me by showing up at my house asking me if I, I want them to do my driveway. Yes, I want you to do my driveway. Big old driveway needs to get out of here, okay? All that damn snow needs to go. Usually I call a guy with a truck and he comes with this truck with the thing on the front and he just comes and scoops all the snow up and clears my driveway for me. But he is not 40 bucks. So when these little kids showed up at my door, I said, God is good, okay? So I'm gonna get the inner corner done. Give me one second. I have no idea what lashes I was wearing that day, so I just grabbed any old lashes from my bathroom. For the inner corner, I took my Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice Palette, and I used the shade, was it Casablanca? No, I think I used the pink one. Okay, if that's sh Shisha Smoke, Sahara Stunna, I think? I really don't know. This pink, Oh, don't focus on me, girl. Focus on the palette, okay? On a tiny brush, and just highlighted the inner corner. And when I use on the green look, because the looks were pretty much the same, I used whatever color this is right here. On the green look in the inner corner. So then I'm taking my MAC Dazzle Shadow Liquid that they probably don't even sell it anymore in Flash and Dash. I'm just gonna apply it right under here. A Little bit of glitter. And this one I used the same on both. Um, looks. The only difference is on the green look, on the under eye outside, I used the like burgundy color, I think, from the Moroccan Spice palette, or the brown color, this one right here. So to ensure zero lifting, when I'm putting on my lashes, I put the glue onto my lashes and let them sit in the the corner until they're like tacky. And I put three dabs of glue on my actual uh, eyelid along the liner and that dries. 
And this plus that gives me what I need, girl. <sighs> but while we wait for the glue to dry, a few more would you rather questions. Would you rather only be able to wear sweatpants for the rest of your life? Ooh, girl, I love me a good sweatpant. <laughs> Lazy pants for the win. Okay, shout out to Costco one time. Or only be able to wear suits for the rest of your life. Track pants me down, okay? Because I can dress them up. Okay, we can have uh, business up top and casual on the bottom, party on the bottom, whatever. <laughs> I could dress up some track pants. Would you rather have to spend the next 20 years as a student or spend the next 20 years as an employee? Oh baby, wait, I'm always a student, okay? And that's on period. So I live my life as a student, so 20 years as a student. 20 years as a CEO, never giving employee. <laughs> Praise God. Would you rather be held in high regard by your parents or your friends? Um, I don't think I care. <laughs> I, I don't think I care, I honestly don't. Um, you know, I love that, I, I would love if, you, I don't care. Um, what does high regard mean? I just want to be loved, girl, okay? So as long as my mama love me, love me. Um, I'm Gucci, Fendi, Louis, and Prada, okay? That's, like, what is high regard? I would hope that whoever is in my life would hold me to a high enough regard that they respect me and I will respect them equally. There's no point in us being friends. I feel like it's a weird question. I don't know how to answer it. How do you guys feel about that question? I wanna be with you, ooh. I wanna be with, oh! I'm going to spray the face. And now for the fun part. This is the most requested lip since like ever, okay? This is more requested than Ashton. I have never seen this many questions about what lip I've been wearing. And this is the only time I'm gonna answer this question. So if, if you wanna know what lip I'm wearing in the Mistress series, baby, I hope you sat here watching this video because y'all keep asking me, Bo, what the hell is on your lips? And I keep answering in the comment section. I, I think I even pinned a comment on one of the videos, girl. Chestnut by MAC, okay? This is a brand new pencil. I just replaced my pencil after not having to replace it forever because this lasts forever. I told you guys I've been ignoring my Cupid's bow. Going right over it. And then coming back in on the actual lip line. So on like down here, I pretty much stay on the lip line, but as I get to the top, it gives Brett still realness. Um, I draw over my Cupid's bow. So she gives very much half moon, okay? And we tried to make it as even as possible, okay? Then, on the bottom and you can overline if you want but like she's already giving pouty okay so i just had to go pay the cheering for doing my driveway for me shout out to them girl they did a good job i hope you guys are paying attention so the next thing that you're gonna need is this this is the fenty beauty cream gloss bomb uh gloss bomb cream in the shade 03 honey waffles okay this is why mother's lips have looked so juicy and succulent okay like she just finished eating some popeyes that's why this is why gloss bomb was already top tier but gloss bomb cream with that hint of color in there girl Ooh, you couldn't tell me nothing when I put this on for the first time. And the color is so nice and like neutral. It's so perfect. 
love me. I want to be with you. Ooh. A few more would you rather questions. Would you rather be a mistress or single for the rest of your life? Single for the rest of my mother every life. <laughs> okay, never giving mistress. That is it for this video, you guys. I love you all so much, and I will definitely see you in the next one.